lender and say, well, show me what you got. List it and give me a purchase agreement. In that order. Now, maybe they'll just take the purchase agreement. In many cases, they do that. So what we're going to go over to you tonight is how to, how to Rose and Child just short the house and how's it put together 100% finance. And is it good for us as financiers? And is it good for them as borrowers? And is it a win-win? What you do not want is a win-lose, lose-win. No, 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 no. Real estate deals should always be win-win. And if there's something other than a win-win, be careful about it. It should be a win-win under the circumstances in all cases. A win-win under the circumstances. So that's what we're looking at. So first of all, they owe 70 uh, $69,000 on the house, $70,000. And the house is in a nice neighborhood. In this case here, now, what we have here in the purchase agreement, which you get, is a form of agreement. And we've taken out all of the addresses. And so what you really have, essentially, here is a, I just took the name out and stuff. So we put the address in right here. Simple purchase agreement. What do you buy? You're buying the land and everything that sits on top of the land. You're not buying the building, because you can buy the building and not the land. Did you know that? So you're buying the land. And in this case, there's a purchase agreement for $10,000 subject to building these restrictions. Jason, take it up for me. Okay. The sale is to be consummated by the <coughs> that extinguish any rights that the existing seller have, and you're going to take the deed and the title. And it's contingent upon the purchase to secure necessary financing. Now that might come out, but typically you may have to get financing. In this case, it's already secured. They have a $70,000 mortgage. Let's start all over again. They got financing. You got a deal. You agreed to finance. They went to the lender and the lender said, give them a purchase agreement. Here's the purchase agreement, $10,000. Now I'm going to tell you 